afternoon, Mets fans, and welcome to a odd-timed edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and it is Monday, January the 8th, and yet again, there's not a whole heck of a lot to report as far as baseball activity and signing players and free agents and whatnot, but uh, I this afternoon um, on my lunch break, I listened to uh, Orange and Blue Thing from last week and listened to... Mickey Calloway's interview with Darren and Brian, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that, and I also want to make a few comments on some uh, additional rumors that I've, uh, I've heard bandied about baseball. After, uh, after a decade plus of sort of, I guess what you might call like by the book managing, um, it, it's it's so refreshing to hear the the philosophy that Mickey Calloway is going to bring to the table as the manager of the Mets in 2018. Uh, listening to him talk uh, talk about his style and his plans and what he's thinking about doing in 2018 on Orange and Blue Thing uh, last Thursday. Um, just really a breath of fresh air. Um, yes, he is one of these new, um, you know, new school thinking uh, general uh, managers in baseball, rather. And yes, he's going to be different than Terry Collins, but different's not bad. And I think um, listening to, to how articulate he is and listening to how thoughtful he is and listening to how he plans to be almost like a chess player where he's got the moves in his mind two moves in advance, and he can explain those moves not only to the media, which in New York is, of course, very important, but also to his players. And I thought that, to me, was the, the big eye-opener of listening to him talk about what he's planning to do, uh, what Mickey Calloway is planning to do, um, to, to have the players understand that there is a method to the madness. There's a, there's a reason why I'm pulling you after five innings, or there's a reason why you're being pinch hit for in this situation, or there's a reason why you are um, on a quote hot streak and nobody's able to get you out, but I'm benching you today. Um, th that's so refreshing, and it's so different from the way we're used to seeing managers play baseball. And this is not really about. Mets managers. This is about managers in general. It was very like, very much like the, um, you know, the money ball. Uh, you worry too much about explaining yourself to people. Don't sort of, uh, sort of commentary. Um, this is different. I mean, this is like, not only am I going to explain it to the outside world, but the story I tell them is going to be the same story that I tell the players. You know, we're all going to be on the same page. I don't know. It's going to be different. We'll, we'll see how the, the results are on the field, but it's nice to sort of hear that systematic plan. Uh, listening to him talk about how he's bringing in information and how the players themselves will have access to the same information and the same decision-making process that he himself has. I don't know, just really cool to hear him talk. Um, I don't know if it's lip service, and I, I honestly genuinely don't believe that it is, but it's really cool to hear how passionate he is about the Mets. I mean, the guy's never has no ties to New York at all. Um, certainly no ties to the Mets at all. And there's this guy, he's talking about how awesome and how amazing this franchise is and how much he's looking forward to it. And yes, I mean, look, I know he has to say those things as the new manager, but um, it, he doesn't have to mean it. You know, he can, it's obvious that he doesn't just say it, just to say it. He means what he says. He means what he says when he says he felt a connection to the franchise when he interviewed with the, the front office and with the staff. He means it. And it's it, to me, it's infectious. I think it's awesome, and I, I just, I've got nothing but positive things to say about a manager who's never managed a game. <laughs> so uh, that's that's uh, that's what I wanted to say about uh, about Mickey. Um, and if you if you guys aren't tuning in to Orange and Blue thing, regardless of what your feelings about the Seven Line and the Seven Line Army are, um, get over it and just watch this show. It's really cool. Um, Darren Meenan is a fan, and Brian Ernie's a really smart guy, and he's got really smart things to say. Listening to the questions they asked Mickey Calloway this week, you'd have thought they were that, that Mickey was being interviewed by a Sports Illustrated writer. No joke, legit. 
So hats off to Darren and Brian for doing an, doing an awesome job on that interview and really bringing the wood, um, no pun intended. Quick segue into Rumor Mill, um, Josh Harrison ain't gonna happen. That was, uh, that was a rumor that um, had been floated out last week that the Mets were interested in a trade for Josh Harrison. Not happening. So uh, there's that. Um, I don't know that I expected to get Josh Harrison, um, but it hasn't changed my thought process about going out and getting um, Mike Moustakas to play third base. I, I just I think that's the smartest move the Mets can make so long as Moustakas is, a, is still available and is able to take a you know two-year or even better, a one-year deal. I mean, hell, overpay the guy for one year and whatever. I mean, he's not going to do that. I mean, we know he's not going to do that because next year's free agent class is ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 the way it's poised right now, he's got no suitors, so he might have to take what he can get. Um, the other thing I wanted to wanted to comment on, it's kind of funny, um, Henry Mejia and the Mets agreed to terms on uh, arbitration terms, I should say. Um, I, the guy's suspended. He can't play. The Mets don't actually have to pay him any of this money. I guess it's just a formality, but I think it's absolutely hilarious that a guy who's been banned for life because he's an idiot still gets to go through the arbitration process and still gets money. Now, he got a pay cut. He got a pay cut, which you almost never see. Matt Harvey, coming off of one of the worst seasons in the history of baseball by a starting pitcher, got a raise. <laughs> so uh, Henry Mejia got a pay cut. He didn't do anything last year, so um, he certainly gave up fewer home runs than Matt Harvey did. Ouch, ouch, too soon. Uh, that's going to do it for uh, for today. Um, sorry for the odd hour uh, of the video, but didn't get a chance to record this morning or this afternoon, so I uh, wanted to throw a couple of, uh, couple of lines out there tonight. Um, if you are not already doing so, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's... Go Mets.